Hello there ladies and gentlemen, it's ASCII here for Nerf TV with another Titanfall video, this time taking a look at the R97 submachine gun. So the R97 is a compact SMG which specialises in close combat. It packs a great fire rate which makes up for its relatively low damage per round by shooting incredibly fast. And while it's not as accurate as some of the other options with long range scopes can be, with its low recoil the SMG can return fire with relative accuracy even at longer ranges making it one of the most versatile weapons in the game. Where it really shines through though is at close range, the low recoil of the gun coupled with a great fire rate make it one of the strongest close range weapons in the game, and while it's not as powerful as the shotgun at very close range, the SMG allows you to open fire and deal controlled fast damage at a longer range than the shotty, meaning unless you're right on top of them the SMG should always win. It's also a very accurate weapon while shooting from the hip, making it usable while maximising your mobility. Few guns can be fired quite as accurately while wall running and jumping as the SMG. And this makes it especially effective against the smart pistol. Not only can it out damage it in a head to head fight, but the ability to make the most of your mobility makes it so you can often break the smart pistol's tracking while also keeping up fire on your enemy. And if they intend to use the iron sights, your high mobility will make it much harder for them to keep the gun trained on you. It's second only to the smart pistol in bringing down grunts and spectres. Because of its high fire rate and ability to be used effectively while on the move, it's great for wiping out whole groups of AI without even breaking pace. I mentioned before that the gun can be very effective at longer ranges and this is true, however it's certainly not as effective as other weapons and will easily be outperformed by carbines and snipers. What it can do is fire very small bursts of relative accuracy using the sights allowing you to bring down AI at longer ranges or damage unsuspecting pilots, just watch out for any return fire. There are a few more advanced tactics to take advantage of while using the SMG. The first is to make maximum use of your mobility even when you're not in a fight so you're always in a good position. Things like approaching corners from the air are a very good option, it puts you above the height of most players scopes and you can often get a few precious rounds off before they can get you into their sights. And the same goes for when you're actually in a firefight, stay very mobile, keep yourselves running on the walls, jumping between buildings, that kind of thing. You can stay very very mobile with the SMG and keep shooting. It's incredibly powerful that and you really need to take advantage of it to get the maximum out of the weapon. There are a number of add-on options available for the SMG, the first of these is a HCOG scope. This adds a sight to the top of the gun giving a 1.85 times magnification and a heads up ammo display. This is a nice addition to the gun, it makes it slightly more effective in those long range fights and the HCOG causes minimal interference with your vision and its open top design makes tracking targets moving vertically very easy. Second we have an extended magazine, now the standard magazine is 40 rounds while the extended gives you another 10 so it's not quite as good value as you get out of other guns. If you don't like either of the other possible add-ons it is a good choice as it will extend the amount of time you can spend shooting in a fight and with the weapon's high fire rate it's not a bad idea. Next up is the scatter fire feature, this maximises out your fire rate but at the cost of your accuracy and range. It really plays to the gun's strengths, if you're willing to give up some of that effective range scatter fire can make the SMG almost unstoppable at close range and it's certainly something worth considering. If you're playing hard point and planning on defending this could be a really great choice. It also might be something more useful for more confined and smaller maps. The last possible option is a silencer. At the cost of a little bit of damage and a little bit of range, the silencer will reduce the sound and muzzle flash of the SMG, making it so it won't appear on the minimap upon shooting. It's also harder for the enemy to spot you without the flash giving you away. This works quite nicely for a more stealth focused loadout. If you're looking to maintain the element of surprise, this can be a really great choice. The biggest weakness of the SMG is that moving in open spaces is generally not recommended. Travelling anywhere where you're likely to come under long range fire is a death sentence, however by utilising things like the cloak you can make yourself safer. The best way to beat the SMG is to avoid any close range encounters unless you're equipped for them. If you're using a shotgun you might have a good chance but with anything else you want to approach any confined courtyard and alleyways with caution. Wall running and going over and around areas can often be safer. If you're utilising a long range weapon like a carbine with an AOC or a sniper rifle think about switching to your sidearm when travelling from A to B as it can often take you time to raise your scope and get an accurate shot off and by that time you're probably already dead. Of all the guns in the game it's one of my favourites which is fairly unusual as it's not the kind of gun I usually go for. I think the option to stay highly mobile is what makes it so appealing. It's a fast paced gun for fast paced players who want to stay on the move. It's the best rival to the very popular smart pistol and will often beat it and with its low recoil it's even able to fire off shots at range targets. A nice choice of gun and something that really complements Titanfall's high speed player movement well. I've been ASCII and you've been watching Nerf TV, stay tuned for more Titanfall guides as well as coverage of many other great games. 
Thank you for watching.